And if we can't build a house over there, we might have to build a house over there. Clean title, this thing retails for almost $60,000, but I say we'll probably let it go for around. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are here at the original Goon Squad garage. As you guys seen for the past couple videos, we have been preparing all of our builds for sale. We moved from the Track Hawk to the Hellcat here. And as you can tell, we threw on a pretty sick wide body kit on this thing and it's looking pretty dang good. A little bit like bell bottoms right now because the wheels are not sticking out as far as we'd like. But you know what? We already ordered three sets of wheel spacers and they'll be in any day now. This thing is gonna look super thick, super aggressive. But all we got left for this Hellcat is basically just give it a quick wash, throw on this rear glass, a piece of trim right here, and I think that's gonna be it for this thing. We're gonna throw it onto the marketplace and this sucker is just gonna absolutely fly. Dude, I'm I mean, it flies you. right now, but dude, with the wide body kit and the wheels and this thing just looking fresh, man, it's just gonna, it just looks so good, dude, dude. I think so. I think it's gonna go pretty quick if we do throw it on the market for a great price. And along with that track hawk there, we already got so many people just wanting it. I already said that a lot of times, but you know what? It's true, it's man. It's true, man. And <laughs> We're just having a hard time letting stuff go, but I'm telling you, we're getting past that point. And yes, gonna, sir. <laughs> we're gonna let it go. So after this, we're gonna probably move on to the GMC truck. Um, and I think there's a, a pretty big issue with it right now that we might sell it as is, or we might fix it and just get rid of it for an amazing price. Either way it goes. You know yeah, what I mean? either way it goes, we'll talk about once we get there. And then um, other than the truck, dude, we may even hop on something else. Who knows, man? It is the weekend, so yes, we sir. might just get a little cindy, a little sketchy, do something fun for today. And just then give them a fun video for the you weekend, guys a dude. Fun video. I, say, I think that sounds like a pretty dang good idea right yes, there. Yes, sir. So I say we go ahead, try to get this Hellcat knocked out, and then we'll just go from there. Looks good right it just there, looks like dude. A art piece, man. That reflection, man. After that wash, dude, it just shined this black up perfectly. And we went ahead and threw this rear glass in. That sucker went down nice and smoothly. But there is a few little things that we want to like uh touch up on. As you can tell, this trunk lid kind of seen its fair share of like leaves landing on it. So we're gonna definitely need to get uh one of those clay bars. We done used all of ours up, so we're gonna need to order some clay bars and some special stuff to clay bar it. Then I'll give it a nice polish and it should be perfect. Yeah, no I mean problem. it's gonna look amazing. It's gonna make it a little bit faster. And as for the little trim piece along the top right there, we're probably gonna have to order two new ones because yeah. I noticed the older ones are kind of like cracking or whatnot. I don't know what's wrong with yeah, them. Yeah, we'll just order two new ones, slap those suckers in. That's super simple. But for the most part, man, this thing just, I mean, that's it, man. Uh, basically, right? Yeah, basically. Is that what you think? I mean, it's up for, it's ready for sale, dude. Come we can on. get rid of it as is. I mean, it's not perfect. They are rebuilt titles, you know what I mean? So you're not gonna get a straight up car from the dealership. But this car right here, I think looks a little bit better than some of those at the dealership. Dude. Hey, you're, I've seen you're not them. lying. I've seen them. Some of the paint jobs that the dealerships will touch up on, crazy. <laughs> I'm telling you, I guarantee it, man. That's just, that's just like that. They're just trying to hook you. But this right here, we're trying to hook you as well. But in order to get this, you're going to get a way better steal of a deal. Way cheaper price. And I mean, you just get so much. Uh, this car just has so much to offer. And uh, with the exhaust, the cold air now on this thing, which we're about to test out. Um, this thing is just a beaut, man. It's almost ready. Let me see. Brand new tires and everything, oh, dude. dude. the brand new Can't tires, about that, dude. dude. It still needs the wheel spacers. We're going to probably have that 
stuff in in a couple of days, and then we'll throw it up on the market unless somebody yeah. emails us and gets it a little bit faster for we'll cheaper. Give, we'll give you the spacers to take home with you for sure. <laughs> spacers, uh, two types of spacers. There's spacers for wheels and spacers when you gap people. Yep, you can get that space. If you want to take uh, people to Gapplebee's, this is the car right here, dude. I, I, I'm just trying to sell well, it to how you, do people? Man. What number do they call? 1-800-GAP-ME-PLEASE. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so that's pretty much it for the Hellcat for today. We're going to go ahead and probably run to the RVs. Get some food. <laughs> and then we're going to come back and uh, probably jump onto the GMC and see what we can do. sell this one is there dude, dude? there's just no way man look at that beauty man Ain't no way well i could actually think of one way Twenty-five thousand payments of one ninety-nine, ninety-nine. Yeah, that sounds 99. about right, right there. And you pay one ninety-nine a month, dude, and for twenty-five thousand years. What? <laughs> no way, dude. So I think we're somewhere around fifty grand, but I guess we'll come up with that exact number a little bit later. Yeah. This thing is just looking amazing right I now, mean, though. It, let's just start off with it's a twenty nineteen GMC Denali Duramax engine, man. This thing's a beaut with like a full coilover suspension by BDS with some nice beautiful uh, specialty, specialty forged, wheel. forged wheels with Toyo tires man this thing just looks like a beastly dude, truck dude absolute beast these this is a pretty unique truck you don't really see a truck built like this that much but you know what when you do you look at that thing for quite a minute and especially if you pull up in a store and you're walking in a store you're definitely looking back at this thing as you're walking matter of dude. fact you're walking backwards into the store dude yeah i'll always do that that's how <laughs> that's how i do it every time i drive this thing but other than that i mean this is a rebuilt title truck let's just go ahead and get started with that i mean it wasn't damaged too bad when we bought it it was just a fender over there and i believe the bumper we bought a bumper for it or something a like bumper that. a little bit of the suspension you know it's such a light damaged truck and we painted like the whole side but you know what it may look beautiful right now but i'll tell you this right now it is not perfect i mean it is not perfect honestly we bought this truck to use it as a work truck of course we did the lift kit and the big wide wheels and stuff which are not practical for working in but you know what we just did it we just wanted to do it because we wanted a pretty truck and then we wanted to put it to the test the suspension amazing on road and off road the wheels i mean they're not practical for going off road but you know what we did it anyways here and there and i mean they're not perfect you know what i mean that's right <laughs> and we even hauled the the F-450 from North Carolina with this thing right dude, here, dude. And it did it like Amazing. without skipping a heartbeat. Like everybody was looking on the highway. They're like, they're thinking we're crazy. <laughs> Big old Big Bertha in the back. But you know what? We got it all the way here, dude. We got it all the way here. And this thing is just amazing but you know what let's just go ahead and start with the stuff that's not amazing i mean you got a rock chip here in the front bumper there's a few chips around the whole entire truck from these wild wheels probably throwing rocks up and stuff like but that but you know what if you're a truck guy you're gonna know that that doesn't even mean dude, anything when you're right there truck dude. guys usually have a whole entire story about their little dents and their little nicks in their truck i mean somebody will probably have a whole story i don't have a story on that one but we'll come up with something dude. <laughs> but hey when you're selling this thing what you do is you stand in front of that chip chip the whole time and every time you got a chip the the by walking around you just walk around the truck with it but anyways look up under here right here look at that beautiful what? coilover suspension right here which just handles just perfectly and also the wheels i mean 
as you can tell, they've seen their fair share of, of, wear, and of tear. wear and tear. And also, not the Dang. best look on somebody right here is a little bit of curb rash. I mean, that may not be a little bit, but that's curb rash right there. And I mean, I might have went through the Chick-fil-A drive-thru a little bit top one day and I hit a hit a curb dude hey ain't no big deal because the thing is with these wheels right here you could always polish them out get them fixed up sand and that down with the grinder smooth it out even or, or you can just send them down and powder coat them suckers dude. whatever color you want i mean we're not pricing it with the wheels we're just pricing it as a good deal of a truck so don't think about the wheels think about the truck dude that, hey, that's a good way to put it right there so another thing about the truck there's a little ding right here in the tailgate this happened when we actually picked it up we just never fixed it yeah right? i mean i'm sure everybody knows about this thing whenever they watch this rebuild but you know what we just never had time this is a steel tailgate you can easily pop it out from the inside fix it up sand it down repaint it super simple but you know what for the price that we're gonna give uh, this thing away for it's just not worth it. i mean we could fix that but it'll cost a little bit more but you know what people don't do that no more people drop these suckers right here do a tailgate or tailgate they, delete do a tailgate delete dude. you can do a tailgate get the lead have one of those one little nets things that go here but it does have a fifth wheel attachment as well you can just uh, hook up your camper and go out for a weekend or something yes like that, sir dude. that's pretty neat right there and also you got this banks exhaust tip it doesn't sound good i'll tell you right now this truck does not sound that good dude, it just sounds stock like a stock is, yeah it is basically stock it's just like a tip right there it does have a tune but it's um legal in 50 states so it's a 50 state legal tune it does amazing you added a little bit more horsepower and i mean that's pretty much all you need i mean the interior is a, a immaculate looks really good for uh 70 000 miles and it's so just just a denali man you know that it's right right there dude <laughs> it does so that's pretty much it for the truck we want to just give you guys a basic walk around there but there is a pretty big issue with the truck right now yeah right? definitely yes well i think it's a pretty big issue i mean for some people it may not be that big of an issue but as you guys know this is a 2019 l5p engine right here which they changed a bunch of stuff on this thing they put those big old ugly nasty region particulate fit filters on this exhaust which basically catches the black smoke that's supposed to come out holds it in a little canister until it's ready until it's full and then it burns it off again basically just there's no point of it but you know what i guess that's just what people want to do sometimes you so know right I mean? now yeah that's kind of the new stuff on all these diesel yes. trucks they have those filters but ours is bad ours is bad basically yeah. it's clogged up it wants to regen like every like 100 miles that you're driving i don't know if something. it's clogged up or it just went bad because i did a full regen on it cleaned it out this truck runs perfectly it's just to check engine lights on i mean it doesn't go into limp mode or anything like that it runs really strong it just says particulate filter whenever you're looking at the because it does have the tuner that you can check the engine uh, on it so yeah. that's what it is you can change it it's going to cost you a couple thousand dollars or you can delete it put a nice exhaust on there make it sound good make it more power but it's going to be off-road use only dude dude that is crazy so there's so that's the one thing that we we might do to it who knows dude? yeah we're, we haven't decided and decided unless somebody wants to purchase this for what price exactly what would you I mean, go for at? the market nowadays and this is a, a rebuilt title which clean title this thing retails for almost sixty thousand dollars but i say we'll probably let it go for around we'll start with forty five thousand dollars as 45. is dude that's that's cheap that's not including the wheels and the suspension and stuff we're not gonna we're, like we mentioned we're just selling the truck selling dude. the truck so there you have it guys forty five thousand dollars for this beautiful gmc right here but that's gonna be all for the original goon squad garage right now we're actually go gonna go ahead and pick up the skid steer the skid steer the bush hogger and head up to the mountain guys we made it up here to the new gun squad headquarters and let's just take a moment of silence and just let's just listen to that nature man no that's enough Dude. okay <laughs> this sounds beautiful out here man it's so peaceful up here man i wish we could just work up here 
that's exactly kind of why we're up here, man. We actually are gonna start constructing some things up here. So there's two things that we gotta build up here and that's actually this garage right there. We already found some plans, some super sick garage plans. It's not gonna be as big as we wanted, but it's gonna give us enough space so where we can actually store some cars but and continue actually working up here as well, if that makes sense right there. Dude, but also, go ahead. That just sounds amazing, dude. With this view right here, dude, you just can't beat it, dude. Yeah, I'm telling you, them glass garage doors and just taking a peek outside, it's gonna be hard to get work done out here, but you know what? I think it's gonna be a little bit more productive because you can just hop out of your bed and just get straight to work. Dude, and may also, have to put a slide out the window or something so, straight in the garage. Dude, that would be <laughs> insane right there. And also, we're gonna actually start building another house. So we got three lots up here. That's right, you heard me right, another house. Shoo, man, that's another crazy, house, dude. dude. That is, but this one's gonna be from the ground up, dude. That is right, it's gonna be a brand new house. As you guys know, we got three lots up here. We got one lot over there and one lot over there. So that's exactly why we brought that machine out here because what we wanna start doing is actually getting a perk test. So we gotta clear out a little bit of the property over there, that way the dirt guy can actually not the dirt guy the soil test guy can come out here and he's gonna actually just poke some holes in the ground or something like that get like a soil sample like soil a pretty sample. deep one so we're gonna have to clear a spot out for him because we can't do anything without a soil sample. that's right that's the process you first do the soil test because if the soil test does not pass then we actually will not be able to build a house up there we're, or we might have to move the house around in different parts of that property yeah. over there so that's really important and if we can't build a house over there we might have to build a house over there so dude anywhere either dude. way it goes but you know what the difference between between these two properties is the the type of house that you can build on there so that that property over there is definitely going to be a super nice probably a pretty modern house but this property over here will definitely be like a lot smaller but still modern but it's going to be like at a super steep angle because that's how the landscaping is over there yeah so. it gets steeper the, yeah. the 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 more you go down so i think i mean either way it goes it's going to be epic it's going to be super epic and we're not going to be doing all the work ourselves like we did on this house right here so i think it's just going to be a unique process maybe we'll film some of it but i think it's just going to be super super awesome to actually build something up here and create like a whole entire compound dude Dude, it would be epic dude maybe one more for like parent what if we built parents a house over there dude i live over there you live over here oh man I, I think i'm a <laughs> you don't want to do that right you want to you want to keep that peace and maybe build parents a house somewhere far away hey we can add to their house and build it taller dude <laughs> <laughs> but anyways we're gonna go ahead and probably unload this uh, skid steer right here with that mulcher on it go into those woods clear out a few things and hopefully get a nice little area for the dirt guy or the soil test guy to see if we park Still got it, man. Running that machine like a maniac. Dude, I had to get used to it a little bit, but dude, that thing's a beast. Definitely need to actually swap the teeth over to the other side because I think we done used these teeth up pretty dang good. Pretty dang good, dude. They're kind of getting a little dual on us, so all we have to do is just unbolt it, swap them around to the fresh new side. But we're just testing it out right now, dude. It was doing pretty good for those dual teeth right yep. there, but what, man, that was a good a bit of stuff that you just cleared out right quick. Yeah, so dude. this is basically the spot where we're gonna do the soil test because this is the spot where we kind of want to build the house here. So it's up on the, the higher part of the property, like right here, there's neighbors over there, but this spot would be perfect because the front of the house is going to be facing towards that way over there um, you guys can't see much right now but that's where the sun sets over there and if we clear out some of these trees we can get a pretty nice view dude, dude a super nice view so like right there's like a valley right there and then over there is a nice little valley as well so that'd be super sick we'd have to definitely probably call somebody in to take care of the bigger trees yeah probably get like a tree service uh, out here and honestly they'll probably use all these trees for lumber you know unless you're trying to get a sawmill we'll make lumber ourselves dude i don't know about <laughs> that man i think that'd be way too much work yeah. this house right here is just something that we want you know just like contract get people to build yeah, it because you know we're trying like we always mentioned we're just getting into the real estate game slowly and that's just you know this is the best thing to do and since we got this extra property over here might as well build something nice right here and uh, see what it turns out dude, to be dude. we got some super epic plans that we yeah, already found dude. i wish i could show you guys but we're not 100 percent set on those plans yeah, just definitely yet. so i mean we may show sneak peeks on instagram but not on the video once we get dead set on the plans of this house or once the soil perks then we'll figure 
figure it out yeah dude. that's the most important thing soul perkins so we're gonna probably go ahead and actually uh call that in and there's, there's a nice driveway as well already kind of cleared out we made it out of a can-am trail right yep, we're riding there so it can be easily cleared out for a nice little driveway i don't really want to clean too much bushes out we're just going to clean it out where the house is and clean it out where the drive is going to be that way it can be like private as well so yep. it's going to be private up here the only thing that's not going to be private is that beautiful view of the mountains because that's going to be a whole different setup right there because we have the view that way now this is going to be viewed that way that's dude. the sunset right yeah, there that's, that's the going to be view, sick, for sure dude. and if you can build a nice house up here dude it's going to be amazing dude. yes sir but guys that is pretty much going to be a wrap for today's video we're super excited to be selling off some of our builds the gmc the track hawk the hellcat they're going to probably go pretty quick so grab them while they're available but with all that being said we got some other things that are in the works so you're not going to want to miss out on anything so definitely make sure your post notifications are on and also if you want to inside scoop before youtube definitely give us a follow on instagram at goon squad but with all that being said thank you guys so much for all the love and support be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below we'll catch you guys next time peace